Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I'm here to recreate a makeup look that I wore in my previous video, the Dollar Club, what was it called? Dollar Curl Club, <laughs> the unboxing that I did. You guys really seem to like my makeup in that video, which I do appreciate because you guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm by no means even really good at makeup, but you know, I kind of know how to put myself together. So right now I've already done my face. Like I have my foundation on and the reason I didn't record it is because my foundation routine is so basic. I literally put concealer on and this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I just put it under my eye here because I have dark circles. So I put that on and then over my entire face, I put this, which is the MAC Studio Fix um, powder in C8. And I don't use liquid foundation, so my face routine is really, really basic. I also filled in my brows already. They're looking extra sharp, and I just used a dark brown pencil for that. And yeah, so now I guess I can just show you what I did to accomplish the rest of the look. So I did contour, and this is the... CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony Bronze. This was a gift from one of my Tonettes. I love her so much, her name is Dee. She always sends me nice stuff, nice goodies. And let's push my bonnet back. I just contour um, as usual, you know, the regular sort of areas. And I bring it up into my forehead, which you can't even see because my, my forehead is mad big, you guys. I have a five head, so. I can sort of afford some extra contouring up there, you know? I do have all my lights on, so I'll try to go a little bit heavier than I normally would so you can actually see the makeup. So contour the outside of my of my face, and I've recently started contouring like down the sides of my nose. Just like that, and I bring it into my eyeshadow look. So it kind of starts in here and just comes down and this looks really nice in pictures so if you're taking um, pictures like for Facebook or Instagram or something um, that looks really it translates really nicely in pictures I actually wore blush in that video and this is one of my favorite blushes you guys this I got in a gift bag from my sister I get a lot of my makeup as gifts so this is by Shu Uimura I think it's a really high-end brand um, she used to work in a department store and it's this beautiful orange color and the color is literally called orange and orange is such a beautiful blush on brown skin even though it looks intimidating in the um, in the pan you can literally go ham with this stuff and it just you see what I mean it just warms the skin up it doesn't actually look you know what I mean it just gives like a soft glow so if you're not really a, if you're a brown skin and you're not really a blush girl i would say start with orange like if you want to just test the waters and i sort of just buff that in on the high points of my cheeks so on top of that i went in with some highlight which is by maybelline it's the master chrome in the color molten gold and it's a beautiful soft gold color So I use that on the tops of my cheeks with a fan brush. Isn't that nice? Ooh. Try to go a little bit heavier. And then I put a dot here and a dot here, which I learned from watching other YouTubers. <laughs> And just blend it out see isn't that nice so for my eyes I used this palette this is one of my favorite palettes you guys it's by Beauty Bakery it is black owned and it's called the coffee and cocoa palette I showed you guys this previously in a supportive sister haul and as you can see I have been using it I really only used three colors on my lids I used this color which is called La Vida Mocha and it's like a burnt terracotta color. And essentially, I put that all over my lid. And up into my crease. So that's really it. It's just one solid wash of color all over my lid. 
And then I went in with this color. It's called Your Grounded. And I put that on my actual lid. So I just pack that on all over my lid. And then after that, the last thing I did was I went back in with my highlight. So whatever highlight you use on your cheeks, you can use that on your lids as well. I put just a little bit right in the center of my eye. And then I put a little bit right here um, in my inner corner. All right, we're almost done guys. Super, super simple look. Add some eyeliner to the bottom, um, to the bottom waterline. And then we set all that goodness in and I use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I've only ever tried two setting sprays, the NYX and the ELF, and I prefer the NYX so far. Whew, that always feels so refreshing. So that just helps obviously set your makeup, but it also kind of takes away that powdery cast because majority of my products are powder. Look at the highlight, y'all. Woo! Anyways, so <laughs> the last step is pretty much mascara and then a lip. And for my mascara, I use this Maybelline Total Temptation. It's just okay. It's nothing special, but this is just what I have. Okay, so I also, I think I added a little bit of highlight right above my lip, right here. And then the only lip product I used was lip gloss. This is a cheapy one from the drugstore. It's by Essence and it's called, it's called Friends of Glamour. And that's the finished look. It's really pretty, very glowy. And this is what I was wearing in the last video with the long wig. I think it turned out really nice. I will definitely revisit this look again. Plus, black owned, so can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, all I need is some hair and I'm out of here. <laughs>